So dear community, this is now part two of my interview series here at Jack Forum Italia. And I welcome now Rafael Plene from the UCR. He's the managing director. You have seen the president before, and now we have the managing director here. Thanks for being on my show. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak about uh, CIA and what we are doing. Absolutely. So, um, I'm very pleased to be just after our president. I've uh, come to know you already last year in London at the International Composite Summit and you were talking about sustainability and we will come back to that in a moment because you've brought a very nice sentence there, a quote that, will, that I will be coming back to you. But before we dive into composites, can you explain us your role in a bit more detail at UCIA and what is the purpose of UCIA? Thank you. So uh, I'm the managing director of SIA, which uh, consists in coordinating uh, the different voice uh, of the members, because we used to say that we are the, the unique voice of the composite industry in Europe. But before speaking as a one voice, you need to listen everybody and to have the, the, the consensus and coordinating the different actions. Our mission is really first to promote the composite industry. And uh, that's the, the, the first role. The second one is a, an advocacy role and also to demonstrate that composite you already mentioned that is sustainable I will say is recyclable is circular yes. that will be the, exactly. the different steps which are very important and we are in, in a position today we already published a different position paper about that demonstrating that this is reality okay so Another important role, and is also an important role for our president, who is Professor Roberto Frazzine, is the, to educate and really to close the gap between the industry needs and the universities, to make sure that the next generation, first of all, would like to go to the composite industry yeah. and are able to bring yeah. added value. So that's the different roles. And the, the last one, or last but not least, as we used to say, but it's the networking because uh, all the community is together. We represent the different national associations, uh, which are typically called second level associations. Uh, and we national associations are members of OSIA plus sectorial organizations. So the raw material uh, producers or the transformers, different processes represent as an association or alliance are members of OSIA. So for the community, uh, if, if they are interested of becoming a member of UCIA, it's only possible if you are an institute or if you are an association in itself, right? So regular members are not possible to join UCIA? No. So the, the members are represented by an association. So if one of your uh, listeners would like to join, they have to look at, first of all, their national association or their sectoral organization like SMC, BMC yes. or the Pultrusion organization. There is, there is few members and I invite them to go to the ocr.eu and they have all the, all the information. Um, the, the reason is because, yes, we, we don't have direct access to the, to the industry, go through the, uh, the different uh, associations. So uh, walk me through the European level now, as you are representing the European level of uh, associations. What are the top countries? Do you have... Um, something like a ranking where you say so we have in one country so many associations being partners or so many or is it really uh, across the board more or less the same levels of course there is large countries and, and smaller countries but in terms of your voice in the association whatever the, the country you represent or the association you have the same weight okay. it's more the way you will contribute to the work that you will yeah so the more you are active the more you have let's say chance to, to be heard correctly right. okay so that's more the contribution of of the members than the size of the countries they represent okay um, but we have really the the chance to have very dynamic uh, participant and i can tell you that we have passionate debates and and one we have different working groups right. one of them is the working group sustainability of course where we have a, a lot of activities at the moment because as i used to say our members and the members of our members really 
do not need us to drive the innovation. Of course, we can see the, the trend and we have uh, partners like JEC who is doing the Jacob server. We have AVK who is also publishing a very good uh, um, uh, report every year. But in terms of sustainability, this is something we will not be able to achieve individually. Mm -hmm. This is really something we have to work as a team, but a large team. Yes. So it means all the European together, but all the whole supply chain. But also we have a, a good cooperation with the US, now with uh, the South Korea, with the Japanese, how to address the end of life mm. of the composite material. We have a chance because this material is durable, yes. it's lightweight. Yes. Okay. And uh, this is also, this advantage creates sometimes difficulties. What I would like to, to tell you today, which is very important, is that we, yes, we are able to recycle a composite material. Existing today, the cement co-processing, which is one of the, the, the things which is working, and we demonstrate it every day. So that's one of the, the reasons. Now we have also, and you see even today, the startup developing new processes, how to recycle material, pyrolysis, solvolysis. There is a lot of innovation at the moment, and we are also here to, to support this move, okay, to help our industry how to address the end of life. And uh, it's important to have someone coordinating this recycling or upcycling or cross-cycling applications because one application that carries carbon may be at the end of the life extended in a different application. Yeah, so we, we were talking just the other day of someone who is in the advanced air mobility with a vertical uh, takeoff and landing device. Yeah? Um, and he said that at the end of the life, those products will be recycled and go into the construction. And in the construction, basically the life is endless. Yeah? Can be used forever. Absolutely, and, and depending on the, the material you are talking about, you are mentioning carbon fiber. This morning we had a very good presentation from Lamborghini, who was also the most, um, comparing virgin carbon fiber and recycled carbon yes. fiber. Now, and, and they are also creating in their models, you know, the, the use of the re recycled carbon fiber. Wow, that's, that's a fantastic news. And after that, if you recycle fiberglass, this is different. But also here, depends if you are on the reuse or repair or really recycle. That's a, so we have different opportunities and also new markets for recycled material. This is something which is even not existing yet. Okay, yeah. So it's in front of us. Very exciting. Yeah. So my final question to you, Rafael, is I'm involved in lightweight technologies and there was this lightweighting summit in Hanover and uh, next week will be Lightcon from Hanover Messe. How do you see the regulations on in particular lightweight technologies? We have initiatives in Germany for lightweight technologies. That is even a key technology they call this and they are giving even grants and support in order to move lightweight technologies. On a European level, do you see similar trends in, in other countries? There is a lot of discussion on lightweight. There is also uh, next week in Sweden also a conference exactly. about lightweight, yes. which is organized. A lot of initiative at the moment. Not yet something completely uh, organized. We were two weeks ago at the Bavarian House next to the European Commission, yes. Yes. Uh, which was a very interesting conference. And we have representatives from the European Commission where we did explain what lightweight materials are and what are the advantages, okay, yes. and how we could handle it. So all is ongoing at the moment. This is also things where we are participating actively. So it's a, it's a great chance to get more lightweight into the discussion. Absolutely. Because I'm on a mission, Rafael, to get lightweight technologies into the markets, into the mind of the designers, the construction engineers, so that the CO2 print gets lower and lower. And absolutely. I think lightweight is the way to go. Absolutely. Right. VTV, you're absolutely right. We're on the same page. On the yeah, same good. page, right. Yeah. So, as is traditional, my last question to you is, what would be your one call to action to the community? What would be the one thing the community should do after listening to this fantastic interview? 
I think if there is something we need to, to realize that composite material are recycled material and to give a second chance to this material, but for that you need to think out of the box and sometimes to have a different view angle how to use it. Okay. Very good, very good. Thank, Thank you community for having your time and I would look forward to your comments. Write it down now. Thank you at this stage also to Jack Group because the Jack Group is giving us this fantastic platform, not only in Paris, the big one, but also in the local markets, like in Italia, and the next one will be in Salzburg soon. Thank you, Raphael, for the time, and uh, have a good show. So, a uh, wonderful good afternoon, or late afternoon, dear LinkedIn community. So, this is the final part of our Jack Forum Italia interview series. I have spoken today to Yusia, to Asso Compositti, to Jano Trulli, the Formula One driver, and one thing is salient here, everything is around technology, innovation, sustainability, and I have to say there is a, a peace and an atmosphere of luxury that I felt here with carbon being at, at the front. Now, of course, luxury is also because there's Lamborghini in the surrounding here and you have seen the keynote of Lamborghini this morning was very, very fascinating. So I'm looking forward to day two of this forum. We are now about to have a nice dinner tonight and we will see you tomorrow. Stay tuned.